welcome to Geo Snippets. I'm Head Hard Head. For the next few minutes, this tutorial will be giving you some interesting information about geocaching. Hey folks, you know while geocaching there are a lot of things that you can do besides just finding caches. One of the favorite hobbies is to go out and take digital photographs. We just love to see where we've been, interesting places, places of note, our caches that we found, travel bugs, travel coins. Geocaching does all sorts of things when it comes to digital cameras. Well, we can take the photographs, but what do we do and how do we get our photographs from the camera to the computer? Today's tutorial is going to go over exactly that. So. You take your digital photographs, where do they go? Where do they hide in your camera when you take them? The answer is this. This tiny little card is called an SD card. It's a, think of it as a hard disk made for your camera. Let's take a closer look. Now what you're looking at here is a standard SD disk. This is a two gig one, which means it holds two gig worth of your files. Your digital camera, depending on how many megapixels it is, the more megapixels, the bigger the picture. The picture is actually a .jpg file. Usually they store anywhere from 2 to 5 meg for each picture. This gets stored onto this particular disk. You can see the contacts here. This all slides into your camera, this little bitty thing slides into your camera and can hold hundreds or even thousands of photographs depending on what you do. What we're going to talk about today is how to get the files off of this disk here and onto a computer. Now I'm sure you looked all across your computer and you can use either your standard PC or a laptop that we have in this particular case. You can look all over there and say well how do you get that SD card attached to the computer? This is your answer. This is what is known as a card reader. Inside here is a place that has a slot that hooks into, uh, the card hooks into that, and then this is a standard USB connector that slides into your computer itself. I'll show you that up close next. Now, card readers come in many different shapes and sizes. This one has, actually has an extension on it that is nothing more than a USB cable and a connector that goes to the card itself. We're going to take that connector off, set it down here, and again, there you have a standard USB connection that will slide into your laptop, and I'll show right here how it goes in. But just to get a little closer look, this is the connector. Now this one actually has a standard SD slot and a mini SD slot, which is right there, which are two different sizes that you can find for SD cards. We're going to put the card into here next and show you how to put it into the computer itself. As you can see here is the SD card itself just before it goes into the SD card reader. The bottom slot is for micros and this slot here is for the card itself. Let's put it in. Once you get the card put into place, you simply push till you hear it click in and it stays in place. Now we take this SD card reader with your picture disc and place it into the computer. SD spots are right here and here. These are those little rectangular slots that are made specifically for SB. You simply put the card in like so and push. Now it's locked into place. Okay, now that the card is safely into the SD reader, the SD card reader is the communicator between the card and the computer. Now that everything is connected and put into the USB slot into the computer, you can tell that everything is okay and working because usually they have a light of some sort that's put into place that lets you know that everything's connected right. Here you got this nice green one on the end here. Sometimes you get little ones, sometimes you get big ones. It all depends on the maker of the card itself. So that tells you we're ready to go. Now we're going to be able to pull the digital photographs, the .jpg files, off of the card, through the card reader, into the computer, and that will get us on our way. 
in the narration that you're seeing here, we actually have two separate folders at the same time. The bottom section is the SD card folder, and the top section is a folder that we are going to put the photograph in uh, from my pictures. Uh, again, I'm just leaving a little graphic here to show what's what. Bottom section is the SD card where the file came from your camera. Top section is where we want the file to go to go onto the computer. To do that, you double click the SD card icon that comes up. Several folders will show up, usually with the camera name. Eventually, you'll get to the point where you'll actually see the photograph or the .jpg files. To see those, you can either click List, where you see here, and if you notice the .jpg uh, end of it, of the file name, all you have to do is left click and hold the file name, drop it and drag it into the top folder and you're done. It's that simple. You can do multiple files, you can do single files, and if you notice the names are the same. You can also right click and copy and paste it over into the top folder as well. Whatever you feel most comfortable with, we're not going to do that in this particular point because that will give you a warning because the picture is already there and it will say that the file already exists. That's it. That's all it takes to getting the files from the SD card into a folder onto your computer. Once there, you can double click it and the photo is there for you to enjoy. And now, here's some things you should know. So you might be asking yourself, how do you get this SD card out of my camera? Now keep in mind there are Canon, there's Olympus, there's a dozen different really good brand name digital cameras out there and all of them are a little different. But in the same respect, they're similar in some ways. And a lot of them is how these go into the camera and how they come out. Let's see if we can do a way of showing how this is done. Okay, like I said, every camera is different. Uh, this particular one is a Kodak Easy Share. Uh, all you have to do to get to your SD card, and you might want to do this if you want to upgrade your card too. Say you only have one with uh, 250K or 512K and you want to go to a 2 gig card, this is the way to upgrade it. You go to the bottom of it, open up the lid, and you have two, part, two things in here. One's going to be the battery, which in this particular case is this big one here. Here you can actually see the card uh, inside the camera. All you have to do for that is push down on the card in this case and pull and there is your card. Okay, now that we're done with getting those photographs off that SD card and onto the computer with the safe and sound, let's put that SD card back into the camera where it belongs. And to put the card back you just reverse the process uh, in this particular case, you'll see there's an arrow pointing down. This card only fits one way. Here you take it, place it into the slot itself, go down and push till you hear it click, and you're done. Close the top and lock, and you're ready to go. Easy. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode of Geo Snippets and learned a little more interesting information about digital cameras and how they work. We hope you come back real soon and see even more tutorials about geocaching. I'm Head Hard Hat, and we'll see you out on the trails really soon. Bye, folks.